Up first, the Gem Verdell 5% India Pale Lager. Cheers. Cheers. Cool. Cheers. So what do we have here? Um, this is the Gem Burdell um, India Pale Lager. Um, it is, it's a one hop, one uh, malt. It's, it's like a Pilsner, but it's a little hoppier than uh, that. It uses Hollow Tower Blanc <clears throat> hops, which give it a little bit of bitterness, but also kind of a, a white wine um, aroma to it. I named this beer after my daughters, um, Gemma, Della, and Vera. So that's the name. And um, yeah, it's a great, it's a good, uh, nice easy drinker. You mentioned that this one took years to come together. Um, how, how so? Like what was, what, what made it so long and what made this, you know, so sweet? Um, I, I was introduced to the hops um, several years ago. It was, uh, I can't remember the hop farm uh, sent some, sent some to me to try to play with, you know, it was, uh, hop farms will do that a lot, you know, hey, we got this new variety or we've procured this new um, variety and just made a simple beer with it. It was actually an ale at the time and it, um, it was kind of like, you know, it was an all right beer, but a lot of the people that I worked with were like, okay, yeah, that, that's a, you know, that's popular. We like that. Second on the list, the 5.8% Midwestern IPA. Cheers. Cheers. So the Midwestern. The Midwestern, yes. Um, it's got, uh, you mentioned it's got East Coast and West Coast, um, like IPA, you know, inspiration with yes. it. Yes. What does that mean? Um, it, what that means is we have a little bit of, um, the bittering hops are going to be kind of your traditional uh, West Coast IPA, um, Cascade and Nugget. Um, and then the East Coast, we have a mosaic hop in there to give it a little bit of a tropical fruit. Um, aroma and flavor at the back end of it. Um, it's just kind of combining the two. The West Coast IPA obviously kind of started the IPA trend in America. And then you got the East Coast IPA, the <clears throat> New England IPAs, which are less bitter and juicy. So it's kind of taken those two, um, those two beers and kind of merging them together. Did that inspire the name, the Midwestern, since it's East Coast, West Coast, and you got... Yeah, I mean, you know, we're in the Midwest, so mm -hmm. we might as well, you know, it's a... It, Midwest IPA is a, um, a it's a, a style that's kind of, it's not an official style, but it is something that's kind of um, up and coming. So I just figured you might as well, you know, call it that. <laughs> Keep it simple, you know. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the 4.5% Premium Lager Pilsner. Cheers. Cheers. So this one, much different taste than the first two here. Yeah. Explain this third beer. Um, this is our premium lager. Uh, it is, I guess you would call this our, um, the beer when people come in and say, I usually drink Miller Lite, this would be what we would offer to them. It's kind of a all, and that's not to say that it is like Miller Lite, but this is an easy drinker that, you know, kind of appeals to um, a lot of uh, the masses. Um, uses German uh, noble hops, uh, Pilsner malt, and it's just kind of basic, but I mean, a little bit of bitterness, a little, mm -hmm. you know, but it, it's easy drinker. Nice, nice, smooth one to um, put down a couple of. <laughs> you mentioned that this one was the popular one among brainstorming sessions. Yeah, I've uh, even prior to working for the hops, I spent of a lot of time with the former head brewer, mm -hmm. you know, talking about collaborations and stuff like that, talking about this beer. Um, I was actually very um, excited to brew this beer and, uh, when I started working here. And, you know, just a lot of, a lot of BS sessions going yeah. on, you know, over this beer, you know. What's the best thing that came out of those brainstorming sessions? Um, I think, honestly, I think it's meeting some of the people that you meet from, you know, you're having, having a beer and, you know, so-and-so comes over, you know, I've got probably two or three of my best friends I've met here drinking this beer.